Hello, legends, heroes, and poopy heads. Welcome to the Omni Flash channel, where Omni Flash will take gaming to the next level. Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Omni Flash, and I am your guide to Perfect World Mobile. Today's video, we're going to show you Mirage. 411 and 422 at the same time you're asking how why why am i doing this because i can the 411 will be on the left hand side it will be a clerk that is about 292k and my tank will be doing 422 on the right hand side uh, if you like this video please like subscribe smash that notification bell to be notified when the next video comes out and you may win a $25 iTunes or Google Play gift card on March 15, 2020. Mirage Dungeon is so important. That's why I'm showing you this in both perspectives. Maybe if you're a cleric, you can learn how to heal a little bit better. If you are a tank, you can tank also. You can see everything that I'm doing in Mirage Dungeon. I did get... I did on the cleric, the 292 KBR cleric, we did get about 1.2 mil. And on the on my main tank, I got about 2 mil. I got about 2 mil worth of gold of stuff. And I'll show you what I, exactly what I got. All the essence scales, ancient skill scrolls that I got. And uh, if you don't do Mirage, you're missing out on a ton of on a ton of gold you must do mirage you do it twice from friday to sunday a lot of people like to wait till sunday if you wait till sunday you're going to uh, not be able to make a team always be sure to start start making your mirage dungeon teams on friday or saturday just to make sure you have enough time to get it done so if you want to do mirage Mirage Dungeons, you should do Floor 6 and above, and then Floor 11 and above. After Floor 11 and above, the loot chance only gets better. It's a bigger chance of you getting something good from Floor 11 and above. So Floor 11s already gives you the best stuff, which is Ancient Skill Scrolls, Essence Scales, uh, Sacred Books. Level 3 Sacred Books, also incredibly good. So... As long as you're doing 411 and above, yeah, I'm happy for you because sometimes, sometimes my friends, my alts, 411 will actually get better stuff than than even a 422. So as long as you're doing 411, you're doing good. For this, this is our first boss, Garuda. And really, you know, I'm, I'm just sort of messing around as a tank. Have you ever seen a tank just jumping around all the way around? Because you can. <laughs> because as a tank, you really only need, like, two skills. You can use Flesh Ream to keep, and you can just keep the taunt. Every time it refreshes, you can just use Flesh Ream again. You just have to know where your healer is and don't jump out of range as long as you're in range so that you can be healed <laughs> you you can jump around because i think that's how you're supposed to tank you're supposed to jump around maybe make the boss dizzy but you do have to keep an eye on the boss because the boss has one skill that is a little bit more difficult not flower butt. Flower butt is pretty easy to dodge. When when she does flower butt, oh, here it is. Winds of Justice. Winds of Justice. You have to either be the tank and fury swipe, or if you are a blade master, you can also do flash kick, which interrupts it. So whenever you see Winds of Justice coming up, go ahead and fury swiper if you're a tank and flash kick if you are a blade master. All right, as a healer, I'm not really healing especially well on the left-hand side, right? Because I am also actually tanking. <laughs> I am also tanking the floor 11. So I'm carrying a lot of people who are like, I don't know, 300k? And we're just doing floor 11. Not doing too much damage. 
I think I think the vulpine, the vulpine really shouldn't be using a bear. There's one thing if you are a vulpine, and if you if you're in a mirage, if you're doing dungeons, really all vulpines should either use a cat, or or those flying pigs, or the or if you if you are able to, you can maybe get one of those. One of those. I like to call them Artic Articunos. Because those are the only pets that really do damage. You you really want to get a cat or a flying pig. The flying pigs do pretty good damage as well. That is why. That is why the 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 Volpine's not doing any damage. After this first boss, I do I do heal better. I will be putting stacks of heals on everyone. One thing as a healer, you do want to put iron heart on everyone, stack iron heart on everyone. This way, it sort of gives you a little bit time for error. In case you you aren't able to heal somebody right away for mid cast on something else, they will still be healing all the time. Also, you want to try to dodge these tornadoes. They do stun you. See, somebody in front of me is in the tornado. No, it's a vulpine. The vulpine was in that tornado. So be aware of those tornadoes. They will stun you, keep you stunned for a good six seconds. When you, when you, uh, as the boss is about to die, if you're a tank, and when Garuda is about to die, be sure to keep your your area stunned. Keep your area stunned and your area pulls off cooldown just go ahead and keep your single target taunt on on garuda because this way you can save some time and as soon as garuda dies you can go out and grab all the mobs if you if if garuda dies and your aoe taunts are not up you really did a bad job as tanking because your your, your aoe taunts should be up as soon as garuda dies so that you can you can grab all the mobs. All right, so once we get to the last bosses, all the last bosses, not terrifically, not not very hard. The first, the first boss of the last bosses, is probably the hardest, simply because a lot of people may not want to move around or they are semi afk this last boss can kill some of your members very easily because he does this rush he rushes and rushes and rushes and if your if your teammates are afk they will die they'll probably get one hit and die you probably won't even be able to heal them and then also he does poison so yeah, this first boss is a little bit tougher simply because your team cannot be AFK at all. As the healer, our team is not doing a ton of damage and will be will be cutting it close because you only have 15 minutes to do Mirage. So as, as a healer, I am actually doing I'm doing God's Wrath, which is the ultimate that increases DPS for your entire team whenever I can because we have to kill this boss we have to kill all the last bosses before the 15 minutes is over another thing is I do love iron heart is because you can cast iron heart while moving so it is great in PvE and PvP you can just run around you are moving and healing everyone at the same time All right, so one on the second boss, the fire breathing boss. There's one thing that you really shouldn't be doing: shouldn't stand in front of him because he likes to breathe fire in front of him. Oh, this right here is the AOE damage. You, if you see a little red arrow on your head, that means he is actually targeting you, and uh, he will be like shooting fireballs at you into the sky and they will be falling on top of you so if you have a red arrow above your head make sure you are continually moving 
or you're gonna get hit. So if you see, I'm actually just targeting everybody on my on the team that needs needs to be healed and giving them iron heart. And whenever they actually get hit, oh well, nightmares died. I'm not sure how my tank lost aggro, but I guess that's what happens when you're AFK on the tank. So I, I am actually tanking and healing in the left hand side, the floor 11. So my tank is actually AFK, just sort of AFK tanking. Going to res. Now you see how there's a revive button right beside the name, okay? So yeah, new healers may not know how to revive. You just have to click on, you just look on the party, right beside the names, there will be a revive. It'll say revive, you just click on that, and your uh, they will revive. Be sure to turn off auto. If you have auto on, sometimes when you're trying to revive somebody, <laughs> the auto will try to do something else. So halfway through the revive, Auto will actually make you try to heal someone else and cancel out revive. That's why that's why sometimes revive doesn't work. Be sure to turn auto off if you are trying to revive someone. Alright, so after gluttony, we have two bosses. One is the healer, I think Ridgeback. Ridgeback is the shark. And then the spider. Violet Tapir is the damage dealer. I usually try to kill the Tapir first and then and then we'll kill Ridgeback. I'm not sure if that's the correct way, but it, it always seems to work pretty well. So have your team focus only on one and not on both because Ridgeback will heal heal herself up. So, so just just focus on one if possible. Kill the kill the spider first. Time is uh, running out, so it's probably a good idea if I use some more God's wrath. All right, so God's wrath is going, and we're going to take out Violet. To appear as quickly as possible. You do have only 15 minutes. As a tank for these two bosses, there's not too much you can do. You just make sure you taunt both bosses. Make sure you have aggro on both bosses. Just change your target, change your target, and uh, and taunt both of the bosses or use your AOE taunts and this very last boss is actually pretty easy sometimes you have this chain all right you see that chain then you have to then you have to move through that chain like into the bosses in order to break that chain Alright, so we're just going to finish off the DPS. And Ridgeback's going to die. Then we'll be able to open our boxes. Alright, so this only takes 15 minutes. These Mirage Dungeons is a Mirage Apocalypse Valley. On the left-hand side, it is floor 11. On the right-hand side, it is floor 22. They do give the best rewards, so make sure you do floor 11 and above. Floor 22 just has a higher chance of getting the better rewards. However, every every few weeks, even the floor 22, floor 25s will still give you almost nothing because it's RNG. All right, so my tank finished first. We're going to open our two level 2 ruler chest. That means a 422 chest. We're going to open one. Got an ancient skill scroll under the wall. Tales of Beauty. Level 3 sacred book. So that's really good. We're going to open our next one. Another ancient skill scrolls. Those are great. It's going to go on my monkey. And uh, also some more level 2 skill books. And as a skill. Alright, let's check out the left hand side. These, this is floor 11 boxes. Floor 11 conqueror boxes. 
first one got uh, we got enhanced healing. It's all right. The collapse is a great level three sacred book, and we're gonna. Oh, we also got an SS scale. Okay, SS scale. We're gonna open our next floor eleven box and another essence scale so she got the cleric got two essence scales and a collapse but well, that's not bad it's 1.2 mil and i got about two mil on my tank what do you guys think do you like this type of video if you like please like subscribe smash that notification bell and comment below thanks a lot